to start a project. It's going to be a towel rack for up at the cabin. Um, it's a Steve Ramsey inspired project. He likes to build things out of pallet wood. And what I'm going to do today, I don't have any pallet wood, but I have a whole bunch of uh, non-dimensional boards that I cut with my chainsaw. And uh, after building that table for uh, up north, I still have some lumber left. So what I thought I'd do was build this uh, towel rack. So anyway, why don't we get started? First thing I want to do is cut out all the parts that I can't use. And there's a lot of them. Now I'm going to set up my planer to get ready to plane the boards. Now it's just a matter of getting them all planed down. You can see that they need a lot of work. Then I run them through my table saw joiner to get a straight edge for gluing. Now I'm gluing up the sides and the shelves for the cabinet. What I'm doing now, I cut a shallow dado in these shelves and I didn't make a, some final cuts on these boards that I made so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to uh, mark them to uh, get the right width of these boards. There's a cabinet with the shelves installed. Okay, I have all the pieces that I need for the cabinet. I've cut them all. Uh, some of them aren't the size yet. These uh, two pieces are going to be the top and as you can see I have to uh, cut these down to the right size. I'm going to run them through the planer. Um, I glued them together, get them all uh, flat and smooth. And uh, I think then I'm going to start assembly. I already have the sides put together and two shells in. I cut each piece to fit. And now I'm just going to nail uh, each one in place. And there's a cabinet with a back installed. This is a door that I made. I laminated leaves from my yard onto the face. Gave it a rustic look. There's a cabinet with Danish oil applied. Now I'm going to put some trim pieces on these little doors that I have for the cabin. cabinet. They're going to the cabin. Oh, had to turn it on first. Now I'm going to attach the doors to the cabinet. I put a couple shims underneath the doors to give it some spacing on the bottom. And there's where the door attached and I made some small knobs for the front. And on the bottom you can see a rail I made out of a pine log. Okay, I cut a spacer for the bottom of this cabinet and that'll fit down here to hold the cabinet out from the edge. And I took the rest of the board and I 
ran down the middle with a 45 degree uh, cut on it. It goes like so. This portion is mounted onto the cabinet like so. And this portion is mounted onto the wall and all I could need to do is slide the cabinet onto the part that's onto the wall and it holds the whole cabinet up just just like this and it's really a good idea for somebody who's going to do this mounting by themselves otherwise I, otherwise I would have to hold the whole cabinet and this is just a lot easier so all I have to do now is just uh, put some Danish oil on these to get them the same color and that's going to be good and now mount this onto the cabinet and here's the finished product I like how it turned out if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.